Good morning, and welcome to our parish celebration of the Eucharist. A special welcome to anyone visiting our community this weekend. Characteristic of the people who rejoice in the Lord's victory over death is that they gather regularly for the breaking of the loaf. In this action, we recognize the presence of the risen Christ and are invited to see that as we share a single loaf and cup, so we share in his new life. This new life has the promise of overcoming division, sin, and death. But are we really prepared to share with those around us? And if we are willing to accept forgiveness from the risen Lord, are we also ready to offer forgiveness? Please join in singing our gathering hymn, number 424 in the Catholic Book of Worship, I Come with Joy. Please stand. I come with joy to meet my Lord, forgiven, loved, and free. In awe and wonder to recall his life laid down for me. I come with Christians far and near to find as all are fed the new community of love in Christ communion bread. As Christ breaks bread and bids us share, each proud division ends. That love that made us makes us one, and strangers now are friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we gather today on this uh, second Sunday within the uh, Easter octave, and we are welcoming uh, a number of people into our faith today. We have uh, six young, seven young people who will uh, journey by way of the sacraments uh, to our faith today. It is a joy to have them in our presence, and we will worship together. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins, trusting always in God's love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A whole group of those who believed we were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses, sold them and bought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord.
right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. It was evening. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, 
he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and put my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, a little boy came back home very happy after his catechism classes. The mother, seeing the boy unusually overjoyed, asked him, Why are you so happy today? The boy replied, Mama, I am so happy today because God shares in my weakness. What weakness? asked the curious mother. God is also poor in mathematics, Mama, just like me said the boy. The teacher taught us the story of God who leaves the 99 sheep in the wilderness and goes after the one sheep that was lost. So poor is God in mathematics. And to that, the mother with the big smile replied, Oh yeah, Thank the Lord for his weakness in mathematics. It is this weakness that is our greatest refuge and hope and we call this weakness of God in mathematics as God's mercy. Yes, my dear friends, the weakness of the Lord in mathematics can be called as his mercy and it is his mercy that is our greatest refuge and hope. The psalmist sings, If you should mark our guilt, who will survive? Psalm number 130, verse 1. If God counted and calculated our sins and offenses, my dear brothers and sisters, who can stand in front of God? Psalm number 103. Verse 10 says, He does not treat us as our sins deserve. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have got so many sins. But still, 
He doesn't treat us according to our sins, but He forgives us. He shows us His mercy. And that is what we celebrated, celebrate today. The Divine Mercy Sunday. Here we commemorate how much Jesus loves us and He shows this love by His passion, death and resurrection. Today's liturgy, the prayers, the mass prayers, the readings are filled with the theme, mercy. I don't know how many of you paid attention to the collect or the opening prayer. The first line itself says, the God of everlasting mercy. In the psalm, we sang the first part. His steadfast love endures forever. Some other translations say, His mercy endures forever. If you come to the gospel, Jesus says, If you forgive the sins of others, they are forgiven. And if you retain the sins of others, they are retained. Forgiveness and mercy goes hand in hand, my dear brothers and sisters. When we did the penitential rite at the beginning of Mass, we said, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Even while singing the Gloria, we said, have mercy on us. In the Eucharistic prayer, second Eucharistic prayer, we pray, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray. In the communion rite, again we pray. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. Today, the church speaks to us, my dear brothers and sisters, to the word of God and to all the prayers that how much God loves us and because of that, how much Mercy is given to each and every one of us. Today let us reflect upon the gospel. The gospel of the day is another resurrection account that the Lord appeared to his chosen people and especially apostles. When he appeared for the first time, Thomas was not there. But when the other disciples told him, he was not ready to believe. And now the risen Lord appears the second time and Thomas believes in our Lord Jesus Christ. Gospel of Luke chapter 19 verse 10 says, Jesus came to the world to save and seek the lost. Thomas the apostle was lost was lost in doubts over the reports and talks about the resurrection of the Lord, was lost within himself on whether he could trust the words of his companions, was lost in missing out a chance to encounter his master since he had strayed away from the community. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, how loving our risen Lord is. Again he appears, and during this time, Thomas cried out, My Lord and my God. So dear friends, today, as we are celebrating Mercy Sunday, we too have lost. We too are lost. Especially, we have lost the companionship of our loving Jesus. Because of our sinfulness, we have gone far away. And in a way, we are lost in the wilderness. But today's feast, my dear brothers and sisters, give us, gives us a beautiful reminder and invitation to experience the love of our God by experiencing Mercy and forgiveness. And the church offers us two beautiful sacraments. 
the sacrament of reconciliation and the sacrament of Eucharist. If you observe the image of the divine mercy, the picture also points out to these two sacraments. There are two rays coming out from the heart of Jesus. The pale ray stands for the water which makes souls righteous. That is the sacrament of reconciliation. The red ray stands for the blood which is the life of the souls, the sacrament of holy Eucharist. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are celebrating this feast day, what are the messages that we are going to carry back home? Three messages, very easy to remember. A, B, C. First one, A, ask for mercy. In God, my dear brothers and sisters, blessings are available, forgiveness is available, love is available, mercy is available. But our God wants that we ask Him in prayer and constantly repenting of our sins and asking Him to pour His mercy on us. The first thing, ask for mercy. Second, B. Be merciful to others. It's not only that I experience forgiveness, love and mercy of God in my personal life. At the same time, my dear brothers and sisters, our loving Lord wants that we be merciful to others. That's why Jesus says, Be merciful as my heavenly Father is merciful. Third, C. Completely trust in Jesus. If you observe the picture of the divine mercy, at the bottom there is a signature line. Jesus, I trust in thee. The more trust you have got, the more mercy you are going to experience. It all depends how deep my trust is in my loving Jesus. So dear friends, as we continue to pray during this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us pray, especially we may get enough strength and courage to ask for the mercy of God. At the same time, be merciful to our brothers and sisters. And thirdly, let us deepen our confidence and trust in the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray for these graces during this Holy Eucharistic celebration and may God bless us all in our efforts. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I invite forward those who will celebrate, the, who will receive the sacrament of baptism. I invite Gina, Kai, and Jack Mason, if he is present in the church, to come forward, please. And if we could have their sponsors join them as well. Dear friends, let us pray to Almighty God for our brothers and sisters who are asking for baptism. He has called them and brought them to this moment. May he grant them light and strength to follow Christ with resolute hearts and to profess the faith of the church. May he give them the new life of the Holy Spirit, whom we are about to call down upon water. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, 
pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use the gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. And after his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism, all those whom you have created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin, and rise to a new birth of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, together with these, our brothers and sisters, let us now profess our faith. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. All right, who wants to go first? All right, it's Kai, right? Okay, you'll be down face down there. Kai, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Gina, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. All right, my friends here. My friends, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourselves in Christ. See in the baptismal garments you are wearing your dignity and bring it unstained into the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. Amen. And I invite the sponsors forward to receive the light of Christ.
Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. My friends, you have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. And when the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. And at this point, I invite forward Caleb and Joshua, who will be received into the church. And to, they can be joined by their sponsors, please. Thank you. My brothers, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you with your sponsors to stand in the presence of our community and profess our faith. In this faith, you will be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord, the sign of the Church's unity. And I ask you, do you believe and profess all that the Holy Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God? My brothers, the Lord receives you into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here, so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have professed in, in the presence of this family. And at this point, I invite forward Ethan, who will celebrate confirmation, as well as Naomi, who will celebrate the sacrament of confirmation as well, together with their sponsors. My dear candidates for confirmation, baptism, you have been born again in Christ and you have become members of, the, of, of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord to his apostles at Pentecost, and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ, and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church, and to build up the body of Christ in faith and in love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these candidates for confirmation to strengthen them with his gifts and to anoint them to be more fully like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ethan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Did you pick a name for confirmation? Michael. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Christopher, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Did you pick a name for confirmation? Or just your first name? Kai, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Did you pick a different name for confirmation or Gina? Okay. Gina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Did you pick a different name for confirmation? Or just Naomi. Naomi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My brothers and sisters, I'll ask our newly initiated candidates to turn around and let us show them a sign of their welcome in our community.
We assemble for the Christian meal, and the risen Lord stands among us. With him we stand in the presence of the Father and make intercession for our needs, the needs of those around us, those of the whole people of God, and of all creation. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of God, that we will be renewed by our celebration of baptism this Easter, we pray. For each of us, that this Easter will be a moment of casting off old ways and mark a new beginning in discipleship, we pray. For all who have been hurt in and through the structure of religion, that they may be healed and have a fresh vision of God's glory, we pray. For all who work to build up human communities, that they may be given the strength they need to pursue justice and peace, we pray. For all who entered our community in baptism this week, that they may grow in discipleship and find among us a community of loving service, we pray. For those who are sick and in need of our prayers, and also for those who have died, we pray. For those needs we express in silence, we pray. Father, your Son is risen and dwells among us. He has transformed us into a priestly people. We stand before you and make these prayers. Hear them, for they come to you in union with your anointed one, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The preparation hymn is number 495 in the Catholic Book of Worship, We Walk by Faith. We walk by faith and not by sight, no gracious words we hear. Of him who spoke as none e'er spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Help then, O Lord, our unbelief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found. That when our life of faith is done in realms of clearer light, we may behold you as you are in full and endless sight. We walk by faith and not by sight, no gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none e'er spoke, but we believe him Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Douglas our Bishop, and Wayne his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. died to be reborn. 
I am the bread that comes from heaven above. I am the vine that fills your cup with joy. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. And drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the way that leads the exile home. I am the truth that sets the captive free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. And drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the lamb that takes away your sin. I am the gate that guards you night and day. Are my flock, you know the shepherd's voice. You are my own, your ransom is my blood. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. And drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the cornerstone that God has laid, a chosen stone and precious in his eyes. You are God's dwelling place, on me you rest. Like living stones, a temple for God's praise. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. And drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the light that came into the world. I am the light that darkness cannot hide. I am the morning star that never sets. Lift up your face, in you my light will shine. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. And drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the first and last, the living one. I am the Lord who died that you might live. 
I am the bridegroom, this my wedding song. You are my bride, come to the marriage feast. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. my blood given up for you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. And it's just a couple of announcements this weekend. Please do join us for our Easter open house taking place immediately following this Mass in the parish hall. Uh, we will share a potluck feast of Easter foods uh, from the many cultures and traditions represented in the community. Uh, there will be plenty of opportunities for fellowship, uh, and there are activities for children as well. Uh, all are welcome, so please do join us immediately following Mass in the parish hall. Uh, our Spring Adult Faith Formation Series will begin on Thursday, April the 18th at 7 p.m. in the parish hall. We'll journey through a new series on Formed called Our Story, A Basic Introduction to the Bible for Catholics. All would benefit from this opportunity to deepen our relationship with the Word of God, and all are welcome. No prior registration is required. Uh, Masterworks of Oakville is planning their concerts uh, next weekend right here in our parish church uh, on Saturday evening and on Sunday afternoon, uh, and uh, tickets are on sale in the narthex. They are performing for his requiem, uh, so please, uh, if you're available, uh, it promises to be a wonderful performance. It always is, uh, so do join uh, and support uh, Masterworks as best you can. Uh, finally, uh, we congratulate again those who have been uh, received into the church today. Uh, this uh, rounds out the Easter baptism season. Uh, the uh, often uh, uh, children or, or, adult or older children who need, to be, um, who need to be received are received uh, at this Mass rather than at the Easter Vigil, which can be a little bit lengthy for, uh, for young people. Uh, so we congratulate again uh, those who have been received. This brings the count uh, up to 30 who have been received into our faith uh, by way of this parish uh, since uh, Saturday of last weekend. Let's show them a sign of congratulations. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. The recessional hymn is number 625 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. Love Divine. 
divine of love's excelling joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, you are all compassion, boundless love that makes us whole. Visit us with your salvation, enter every trembling soul. Come, Almighty, to deliver, let us all your praise receive. Suddenly return and never, never more your temple leave.
seven or seven days.
good afternoon good afternoon welcome to st matthew's parish for the baptism of the infants may i request all those who are being baptized and the parents god parents take your seat please we are going to start the ceremony now for baptism pouring of the water the infants okay. with the parents and god parents will be escorted at the back yeah, at the right. font and then you will come back here and receive the candles here back and those who want to take photographs may take without disturbing from your aisle and those who want during the baptism procedure can stand at the back not to disrupt the ceremony at any time we are now going to start the ceremony please stand the gathering hymn can be found at number 423 in the catholic book of worship god who made the human family number 5 4 2 3 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all good afternoon to all of you and a hearty welcome to all of you to this baptismal liturgy parents what names have you given to your child amy mcdonald amy theodore malloy mario 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 okay there no here them no? mirico and amelia ah. franco and amelia here stella and you stella and you here connor Okay. What do you ask of God's church for your children? Baptism. baptism. In asking for baptism for your children, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising them in the faith, so that keeping God's commandments, they may love the Lord and their neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? Yes. yes. God parents, please raise your hands. God parents. Okay. Are you ready to help the parents of these children 
in their duty? Yes. yes. Dear children, the church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and Godparents will do the same. So I will trace the sign of the cross on the forehead and later on parents and Godparents will do that. Okay? Okay, please be seated and we will have the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. This is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see that the Lord is God. Taste and see that the Lord is God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. The poor one called, and the Lord heard, and saved that person from every trouble. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord, one faith. 
faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, if you had paid attention to today's gospel reading, you will observe during the time of the baptism of Jesus Christ, three things happen. Now I don't want to ask you questions. What are those three things? I myself will explain, okay? First, heaven is torn open. Second, spirit descends upon Jesus Christ in the form of a dove. And thirdly, the voice of the heavenly father is heard. In some gospels, it is mentioned, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Dear friends, as we are going to baptize these children, same thing is going to happen. The heavens will be torn open and graces and blessings will be showered upon these children. At the same time, when we baptize these children, their sins will be forgiven and the Spirit will dwell within them and they will become the temples of the Holy Spirit. And third, our Heavenly Father will be well pleased with all the parents, God-parents and the family members because today you are adding new members to our Roman Catholic Church. At the beginning itself, I asked you a question. Are you ready to take the responsibility of raising these children in faith? And all of you said, yes. Good. It is very easy to say yes. But practice in our day-to-day -day living, it is quite difficult. Today, dear friends, what we need is not a lecture. Even if I continue for a few more minutes, then you may think when Father is going to stop. Today we require examples and models to be imitated. And when these little angels are growing up in your house, who are the best examples and the models? Parents themselves. So, watch your actions, watch your speech, watch your behavior. Everything will be watched by these little children as they are growing up and then they will follow the same. To give, give them a good example, a good model, so that they can become nice Catholics to follow. For a moment, let us thank the Lord. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of baptism. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of marriage. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of these little angels in your families.
Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for these children about to receive the grace of baptism and for their parents, godparents and all the baptized. Our response is, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Give these children new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join them to your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make them faithful disciples and witnesses to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lead them through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make their parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to these children. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep their families always in your love. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each of us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Now let us invoke the intercession of the saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray, pray for us. Saint Matthew, Pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Pray for us. Saint Bernadette. Pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc. Pray for us. Saint John Paul II. Pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta. Pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to dry out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light. We humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin, to make them the temple of your spirit, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on these children by water and the Holy Spirit. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, who was spirit in the first moments of the world's creation, hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from the slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, 
so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of world may be found worthy to rise to the life of the newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this water, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, Through the sacrament of baptism, the children you have presented are about to receive from the love of God new life by water and by the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring them up in the faith, so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in them day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which the children are baptized. Your response is, I do. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Dear parents and godparents, Is it your will, therefore, that these children should receive baptism in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. So now, Parents, Godparent and the child. We will go at the back near the font and then we will make circle there and one by one you will come then I will baptize your children and after all are baptized again we will walk back. Okay? You can follow us. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want He makes me lie down in green pastures He leads me beside still waters He restores my soul the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want.
What is the name of the child? Hmm? Franco. Franco. Come up, come up, come up. Hold your head inside. Franco, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. What is the name of the child? Emilia. Emilia, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. What is the name? Uh, Mario. 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 Yeah, okay, Mario. Yeah. Mario, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Name of the child? Name of the child? Hugh. Hugh, Hugh. okay. Hugh Knight, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. The name of the child? Stella. Stella, okay. Stella, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Name of the child? Connor. Connor. Connor, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. What is the name of the child? Andy. Andy, yeah. Andy, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. What is the name of the child? Theodore. Theodore. Theodore, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. name of the child? Amy. Amy. Amy, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Now we'll go back to our places. Baptized.
Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed in the blood of Christ our King, heirs of salvation, trusting his promise, faithfully now God's praise we sing. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, marked with the sign of Christ our King. Born of one Father, we are His children, joyfully now God's praise we sing. Now I request the parents and the godparents along with the child to come forward and stand here in line, one after another. They can stand right over here, one line, yeah, okay. You can be behind them, godparents can be behind, look at me this way, yeah. Godparents can be behind them, okay, no, parents come forward, godparents behind, okay. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that, joined to his people, you may remain members of Christ, priest, prophet and king, unto eternal life. Amen. Now we will anoint the children on the forehead. Dear children, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Parents and Godparents, hold it together. Receive the light of Christ. Two children, right? Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Okay. 
receive the light of Christ. 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 You can hold together. God is parents and parents. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and Godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your children enlightened by Christ may walk always as children of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. May I request everyone to stand. Dear brothers and sisters, these children reborn through baptism are now called children of God for so indeed they are. Through confirmation they will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and approaching the altar of the Lord they will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in their name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord be with you. Special blessings over dad and mum. First over mum. The Lord God Almighty, through his son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers, as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mothers of these children so that as they now give thanks for the gift of their children, they may always remain united with them in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Over Dad. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and on earth, bless the fathers of these children so that together with their wives, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their children. In Christ Jesus our Lord, upon all of us who are gathered here. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless His faithful who are present here, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now you can put off your candles and go back to your pews. So let us give a big round of applause to all these little children and welcome them into
This concludes our celebration this afternoon. Uh, Father will remain for a photo with anyone who would like to receive one with him, and then you are free to take pictures throughout the church. We just ask you to please uh, stay off of the steps of the sanctuary, uh, particularly around the tabernacle and the front of the altar. Uh, please make use of uh, over here by the cross or the uh, shrines at the back of the church. Enjoy your afternoon.
Thank you. 